Welcome to oh, okay. a bullshit and board games. Yes, this is our second episode. Are Where, we doing episodes? Like I don't. Yeah, whatever. We'll just name the episodes. They don't have right. to be numbered. Yeah, I don't like numbers. No, we'll just yeah. name them. Yeah, we just made that decision just now. Yeah, just now. This one um, is Steve. Right? There, there's a lot of bullshit. We noticed in the first. It, oh, it there's actually, so we're much living bullshit. up to there's so bullshit much bullshit and board games. I think games. it's one of the things that kind of led to the whole title is the fact that I yeah. just talk out of my ass constantly. I have no idea what the fuck I'm saying. Uh, we are day. Justin and Penelope from Far Point Toys. We are here with a Far Point family. We're uh, gonna actually. I'm gonna introduce everybody because sure. we didn't do that before, and right, it was a little weird. Like I just put your names. You should up. know who these people are. I put are. your names up over your heads, like hovering in the video. But oh, I'll do that again. But I'm that. also gonna introduce everybody. All right. um, or you can let people introduce themselves. Uh, okay, I can do that. Yeah. I don't. I don't want to put anybody on the spot. Is that okay with everyone? <laughs> Hi, I'm Danny. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm Georgie. Nice to meet you. <laughs> that's Skylar incredibly that's, that's shy my, our daughter Skylar the heiress right the oh the heiress of Farpoint oh, heiress <laughs> <laughs> that's on the internet forever I now I like that yeah okay yeah the Farpoint heiress I like Who's that the little guy here I'm Dylan I'm the heiresses or the heiresses <laughs> <laughs> best friend <laughs> I'm Linda I am married to George uh we Justin already, yeah we already introduced ourselves so, so we're Farpoint we're gonna play a game uh, and bullshit. And hopefully mostly, we get through the game. This is a game bullshit. we've never played before. So I just said this before we started the actual recording here. I have all these board games, which by now you guys have seen the giant pile. I've only played like 10% of them, which is a, a sick, sad shame. Yeah. So we're, we are putting an end to that, and that's the whole point of bullshit and board we're games. We're working our way through Penelope's collection of board games, which is extensive. Yeah. Uh, she collects collections, and board games happens to be one of those things. And um, most of them... We've never played. <laughs> we, I've, like I said, literally, I've only played like ten percent of them, which is ridiculous. Yeah. Um, and every time when you guys come over, we pick a game to play. We keep picking the new ones. We're gonna run out of newer ones, and we're gonna have to go back into history, back and play some some real duds. We were gonna play Cards Against Humanity tonight on tonight's stream. Yeah. Uh, but we have friends that have real jobs, <laughs> and, uh, and 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 people might see them saying things and out of context. Yeah, it's just really for bad. the best. Yeah. yeah. It's. It could be taken very badly. They 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 look like members of Congress. So we yeah, we, yeah. we did we did play before we were having dinner earlier. We did play before. So oh, y'all missed out. And George, realized it was George, the right idea. George destroyed to not all play of us. Live on the internet. George interwebs. destroyed all of us. Um, he was very good at it for a guy. Who I think <laughs> destroyed is such a harsh. I yeah. think our VIPs next time we play, maybe our VIPs should pick what we play. Yeah. So we talk about VIPs. Fine. You might be watching this on YouTube, but we are actually live. In our VIP group. Tara's here, Hal is here, Alex uh, is here. And they're commenting, yeah. and we should read them. There's a bunch they're of They're here watching. with us, watching, interacting, and, and kind of playing, honestly, um, and giving us fun tidbits of information. I don't know. Alex Just is watching. Comments. So Alex is is mad that we're not playing the crawl board game, which we discussed when he was here earlier. We will play crawl it's, at one point. It's, <laughs> I, I, I played it like twice when I was a kid, and I remember it being awful. Does it come with a glaive? No, but it does come uh, with like a, little that's monsters. A fail. That's a horrible it's a miss. Fail. The spinner should be the glaive. It should, it should. No, I don't think there even is a spinner. A lot of these games are geared for young kids. So they like they'll have like no like young kids love spinners. Just crawl is an who old gets to go sci fi next. fantasy movie. Oh. We okay. made Skylar watch Crawl. Did we? We, yeah. we? we strapped her down and made her watch it, yeah. <laughs> it's part of your indoctrination to be hair... Hair Harris. 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 <laughs> the face she's making. I'm so glad she's not facing for it. Um, all right, so we are playing... Um, today we have chosen... Linda, once again, that's twice, two weeks in a row, Linda has chosen our game because we will not let her play Scrabble because she will kill all of um, us. Unless she gets drunk enough. Well, yeah. you know, we're working on Because then she can make up words and... <laughs> Um, or we can like tell her, no, that's not really a word, Linda. Just let her just fine. Yeah. Um, so this is a choose your own adventure board game. Two of my favorite things combined into one thing: choose your own adventure books and board games together. War with War with the evil power, evil power master. master. War yeah. with the evil power that master. That just sounds yes. fantastic. It just sounds fun. It, it sounds like I don't know. We're gonna have some kind of sci-fi crazy. Dude. Yeah. So this yeah. is. It's a, I think it's got he's a, the evil yeah. power master. I, I love that idea. He does yeah. have a widow's peak like Dracula. He's holding like <laughs> planets and all kinds of stuff in his all hands. Right, he's got yeah. a rocket ship. Don't don't um, make me edit too much. Let's this is basically an unboxing, <laughs> right? Well, there's the board already. We put it. We, we put the board out. Yeah, it's it a out. cute little board. It's cute. It, uh, it the game says the from one to 
Mm. Players. One or more players. Right? We are definitely mm. or more. We're definitely. Mm. Yeah. All right. Do we have the the instructions? Um, No. Dylan is actually in charge of the instructions. Young Dylan has the instructions. The youngest player here today. Uh, Are you you feeling confident confident being in charge of directions? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's rock and roll, Dylan. Now make sure you project so that the microphone can pick you up. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. um, Do we have the tracking cubes in there? Or like cube, well, let's see. These oil. all come in little baggies. I'm like, just going to start. Like, I think you guys would know this, but they look like little drug baggies. Yes, there's <laughs> Not that I know. <laughs> I've, I've seen, seen drugs. On television. Know. Only on television. Yeah. yeah. Like uh, NYPD They're Blue. Breaking baggies on television. Oh, oh, God. The evil power master's age is 42? Of course. Oh, when, He's a young man, evil power we're not master. To see. He was, That's how he old was, I am. I don't know why it's on He was. I can't. My My fingers are too sausagey to open that. He was, there's uh, one pawn and they put it in a bag. <laughs> it's in its own tiny little bag and there's one pawn. I guess it's right. this. Okay. Those, those are the sugar cubes. cubes. Those are the tracking The MDMA cubes. is in that. Oh, okay. Yeah, hope. So you, wait, one what? goes on the APM <laughs> meter and then one goes the signal tracker. Right, so you need to tell us all this stuff too. All this night. So the little squares <laughs> are signal cubes. So they are tracking cubes. Okay. Mm. For the last time. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> one is supposed to go on the EPM meter and the signal tracker. Okay. All right. I can't uh, reach the board, so I think Dylan is in charge of the Single black too. die. All right. And that is supposed to be used for when we come up against these challenges. Mm. Mm. challenges. And what you're opening right now are the signal booster discs. What I'm failing to open right well, now. Because my fingers you, are too They're going to go everywhere. Oh, my gosh. Too thick. <laughs> How wants to know that if you're like this sober, what are you like when you're smashed? Who, me? Yes. Uh, I, I don't know. I haven't been drunk in so long. And whoever. Well, you know how I am when I'm smashed? I'm on stage playing guitar. You have the <laughs> you have the data cards. Do not shuffle them. Oh. The, da- not, the data cards are Justin not Justin has them right now. Do oh, not please. shuffle Thank them. Thank you for telling me that. I saw you opening them. You sure that's a do not yes, shuffle. Do not shuffle. Boom. Okay. Not Shuffle yeah, right? right next to the board. Very nice. Starter items. And we have starter items. For starter items, go with the four characters. <laughs> this time I throw it at Linda. That's true. And Not like last if time. somebody right. wants to, those are the signal booster discs. Just yeah. mix them up. Okay. And then randomly p- place them numbers up okay. onto the planets. I'll see what I can do. Onto the planets. Onto the planets. All right, Dan, you're in charge of numbering the planets. This seems very complicated already. Pluto I love it. is no longer right. a planet. There we go. Oh, it better be on there. Unfortunately. I don't it? think that's our solar system. Oh, well, there is Earth. It's a dwarf planet now. Earth is on there, so... I think it's called a little person planet. <laughs> Sorry. Save that for the cards against it's called the cards against it's humanity. It's called the planet. That's the technical science. Oh, no. Science we word. can still say this stuff. Just George so, and Linda can. <laughs> we do not represent George and Linda at all. Proviso. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Tara said it. that we've inspired okay. their kids, so no, no. she is casting us on the TV while they play Disney Monopoly. Oh, I love nice. that. Okay, we See have Monopoly. our starter mm. items. Starter items. You should also have the characters in one of those. I think that Alex said, "Who's directly under the camera and will never be seen?" That will be Skylar. That is Skylar. That is the head. back of Skylar's Dylan, head. Dylan to the side. And Dylan, Dylan to the side. right here. Alex also said. Uh, if it's for the kids, there should be a fully sharpened glaive. Yes. He said that at when we were talking about. So I actually, it's funny. I just shared we're a wrong. meme. To, I just shared a meme today. An actual glaive. For those of you that don't know, in Krull, the glaive is a weapon that's like this big and it's circular, roundy, with like blades coming off of it, and like you throw it like a frisbee. That's not what a glaive actually no. is. In real life, a glaive is a pole arm. Mm-hmm. It's like a. Yeah. It's like a vulge. It's a medieval weapon. Yeah. yeah. It's like a long pole with a thing on it. Not this yeah. little thing you throw like a frisbee. Well, that's a glaive. A pole not on the glaive. The thing, the thing in Crow yeah. is the, the glaive. glaive. The glaive. I can't. I cannot. Oh. Yeah. Someone else like, other, please. <laughs> Here, you do one. What am I doing? I don't know. We're opening. Oh, do I shuffle them? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. What are they? They're cards. Really? <laughs> <laughs> a toast and a boast. Ep- ep- so ep- I epilogue think, one. I think these are like the story cards. The story cards. And then there's, I believe, some character cards in the front of that deck that Danny has mm-hmm. here. And um, for right now, at the beginning, we just need the four main characters, right, which are Commander Chen, 
Tara. I think these are not Reed. Chen. Chen. Not Chen. Golden Bennett. Not Golden Chen. Golden Bennett. They're all dead, Dave. <laughs> there is Tara. I've been waiting seven. There's, I've been, there's a deep cut. Right I've been there. waiting 17 years to make that joke. These are all uh, good. These are all villains. Oh, there's a, there's a, there's a, did you say there's a Tara? Oh, that's awesome. There's a Tara in our game. These are the main characters. Oh, yeah. oh shit, really? Yes. These oh. are the main characters. Okay, no, no. So there's a Commander Chen, a Flip Down, Tara, Tara, and an inside joke, joke here, Dante. <laughs> right. A lot of inside jokes going on here. Yeah, well, we're all family, so it's fine. I so, still, what the? I can't. It looks like his pants are. No, it's, it's like his. I need Amanda to do this for me here, Danny. Um, it, it definitely is. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, so those are characters. These species. are the main characters. Wait, that we is his follow. name Pepto? Flipto. Okay. Pepto. Flipto. And Flipto. No, there's not even an I. It's just Flipto. 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 So we have Flipto. Wait, Commander Flipto. Chen, Flipto, I, Tara. There is a character named Tara. Tara, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, what do you call and Dante. With no eyes? And <laughs> we are a hot mess, and I wouldn't have Here any are the nine starting items. So whoever wants to shuffle these and assign them. Assign them what to the characters? To the main characters. So randomly okay, assign them to the. Do, do we throw that so in shuffle? There. Do we look? Do we show no. what it is? We should put it down. No, you can show what it is, but don't don't pick specifically. They okay. should be random. All right, you guys ready? Mm-hmm. I love that this is on a Lazy Susan. Oh, it's awesome. That was it's a great really idea, great. Skylar. It's really great. Uh-huh. All right, I don't know. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think it, it looks was like Linda's Tara idea. Linda got the, the galactic. Idea? Linda, I need you to read that. Galactic <laughs> nabber from Earth. All right, she got it's a, one of those things that grabs things. Grabs trash from. Oh, so Earth. it's a little grabby. Yeah, yeah, it's a little grabby. Is that dinosaur head one? It's, no, it's, no. <laughs> they, they do funner. make those. T-Rexes used to have normal sized arms. All right, what's that say? <laughs> that one says Aruthelian molecular realignment mist. What? Uh, this is supposed Flipto to be a simple that. game. Flipto got that. Okay. Good old Flipto. Flipto. Read that, Penelope. I have my contacts in. Haymog Karma Inducer. Oh, it's the mm. Karma Inducer. Well, Commander Chen obviously has that, <laughs> not Chen. Not Do you Chen. you have the story cards? Golden Bennett. Golden Bennett, not Chen. I mean, who knows? And uh, George, you could read that one. Of course. That would be the Jaws. Void of Nero Shelter Belt. The Void of Nero Shelter Belt. What? Uh, and Dante is getting that. What, is this like a what do I do with the last of these? You leave them. Leave them They're where? Not used. They're not being used at all? 10 plus, got it. Okay, I was just like, this, there's no way a seven-year-old could play this right now. Like, <laughs> so, for those of you, for those of you who may not be familiar with Choose Your Own Adventure um, books that this board game is based on, basically, um, instead of opening a book and reading it from page one to the last page, You'll start the story, and then at a certain point, it will uh, pose a question or a choice you have to make. And then, you know, for example, if you'd like to turn left, go to page 12. If you'd like to turn right, go to page 15. If you'd like to stand still and do nothing, turn the page. Read the next page. Yeah. So I imagine that the game is going to follow suit with that. I noticed that the fonts they use on the cards that Dylan has there are very similar to Children Adventure book styling. So I'm guessing that that's what's happening cool. right now. Ben- Dylan is trying to figure out what the hell is happening. Yes, so um, we have three <laughs> cards right here, and we get to pick which story we want to follow. Oh, oh we as a group? Yep. Hmm. Well, what are, what read us the cards, the Dylan. Okay, so oh. epilogue one, a toast and a boast. Epilogue two, the stars are always brighter. Epilogue three, galactic treadmills. Isn't an epilogue the end of something? I was yeah. wondering that. Uh, Okay. Well, that's All what right. we're trying to work towards, I guess. Well, this is just based off of the book by R. A. Montgomery, so yeah. maybe it's like taking place after the book. You know what? That's a good point. And we get to choose which okay. one. That's you a good point. All right. Um, I think the one about okay. stars sounds cool, but I'm I'm I, open to interpretation. I I don't mind. So because I it says. So we have all of these out here displayed. It says start the game by taking the three Laconian Congress story cards. Pick your player to read the first card and follow the story from there. I can't find those cards. cards. Oh God! Wait, does each of those three decks coincide with one of the epilogues? Oh my God! Because that one says epilogue one. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh no. We probably should have looked at this before we started. Well, this is, listen, anybody <laughs> playing this game joy. for the first time, is, oh, yeah. is they're going to be figuring this out. Yeah. We're figuring it out for them. Yes. Correct. I'm just going to put this That's down okay. here. I'm not. I'm I, I like can't imagine. Oh, yes, yes, yes. On the back, they do. So the cards have backs. 
No, it's just says those. It's just yeah, it's yeah, just the story cards bits. do backs. Baby yeah. got it's just back. how the story ends. It says pick a pair and read the first card, so we should be doing epilogue one, not choosing a random one. I feel like oh we need. Boy. I feel like we need to take the instructions. We need to start the game by taking the three Lacoon Congress story cards. Pick a player to read the first card, then follow the story from there. Uh huh. Wow. Okay. All right, give me. All the same. Same. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, all right, three. hand off. Hand off the instructions. I assume guys. the first card Come will be way. number one. Oh, you want this? Yeah, give me the whole thing. Listen, I don't trust right? you, young people. I assume right. the first card will be number right. one. I don't know. We're gonna read this here. Um. Each player chooses their character and takes the corresponding character card. Place the card with the active side face up. We're not doing that because we're all we're all yes, playing. Yes, we're right? all we're all working the characters. Right, we've already done all that. Work um, it in a joint Congress. Yes. We have Shuffle consensus. the nine yeah. starter items. We did that. Mm -hmm. Okay, they will not be used. Dun, 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 dun. Start the game by taking the three Laconian Congress oh story cards. I assume that's what these are. I that's what I'm doing. I'm assuming that's it. But I mean, it doesn't say anywhere on there. Well, is there anything that says Laconian Congress story card? There's Lacoons. <laughs> let's make let's make sure we have the Lacoon. There's nothing Congress. else in there. Because I don't this doesn't right. say Laconian Congress story card, so why no. would you it? It says epilogue, that it is? and right. epilogue's at the end. So and of course they're all double sided, which does not make it easy. It's not a very accessible game to those who are new. Yeah, this is the end. Wait, so Yeah, yeah, so put them away somewhere. This is the end of your game. These are all all of these cards are but the planet. Let's make sure we have everything out of the box. I'm already confused. Story choices, story card. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Start the game by taking the three Lacunian Congress story cards. Pick a player to read the first card and follow the story from there. Can we look at the... We need to find Laconian Congress story cards. this is the cards. end. This is the Someone, end. This, this is the end. Yeah. I'm sick of saying that. My final friend, the end. I think. Hold on. I'm really confused. The end and a new beginning? Oh. So maybe this is the end and then it starts the rest of our adventure? Yeah. That's for the okay. next deck. So Dylan. I'm surprised that it doesn't say Laconian. Con well, we're making sure, Dylan. Yeah. Because you weren't very confident. <laughs> Confidence is always key. Take a player to read the first card. Because Give me the first one. I'll read it. Oh, so okay. I think you can. If your game is over and you want to continue, you can probably do this one. I'm guessing. Oh, I don't know. Let's sure. read the first card. I don't know. <clears throat> make it so. Even if this is wrong, we're gonna make it right. I, I agree. See. Mm -hmm. What does say epilogue? Epilogue one. Yeah, that's the end. I'm a little confused here. <laughs> should say Go epilogue. ahead. Does it say anywhere in there about epilogue cards? Because if it does, then these aren't the right cards. If it doesn't, by 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 process of elimination, they're going to be the right cards, right? If it says at the end the epilogue cards are here at the end, blah 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 blah. End of the game. If the EPM meter reaches twenty five, the rapid mm -hmm. force crew has failed, and the evil power master is victorious. Mm. Draw data number one fifty eight to see how your story ends. That's the that's wow. the ending right there. Okay. If the signal tracker reaches 25, the rep force crew has found the location of the Opar Master. Immediately go to story card 13 of the current planet. Okay. I feel lost. Well, uh, so, so uh, we, we, we are have in space. planet names. So this is Chromier. So I imagine if you go through it's the... It's long story. It just keeps going. Yeah. All right. Epilogue 1. I'm very confused. Well, let's just roll. Let's just roll with it and see A what happens. A toast. We're doing it live. <laughs> Fuck it. We're doing it live. Okay. Let's just do us. it live. Yeah, do it. <laughs> Make it so. Uh, epilogue one, a toast and a boast. Suddenly, Dante rises four feet in the air and spins rapidly, <laughs> then steps with a jerk. <laughs> the crew is startled. A large hologram projects from Dante's eye. That works. You're my last hope. A voice comes from Dante's speakers. I assume Dante's a robot. Yes. A voice comes from Dante's speakers. This is a message from the Laconian Emergency Broadcast System. The Alliance is under attack. I repeat, the Alliance is under attack. He didn't repeat it, I just wanted to do it again. <laughs> What's under attack? The Alliance. <laughs> what the crew sure? searches... How long was it? Uh, what? It's a small word, I can't remember. The crew watches live as every planet in the Laconian system explodes one by one. <gasps> wow. He, he did it, whispers Tara. The evil power master has destroyed everything. 
The last planet to explode is the one the crew is on. The Laconian system no longer exists, and neither does the crew. Thank you for watching. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm really, I'm already lost. Light years away, neither does the crew. Light years away, the evil power master sits with his cousin. Oh, Benny. Carol Power Master. No, you're fucking, you're lying. Oh my god, it's Sesta! <laughs> oh, wow. What is this game? It sounds like something I would make up. This is the dumbest shit I've Andrea ever Andrea Bocelli? Mm-hmm. Light years away, the Uber Power Master oh. sits with his cousin, Carol Power Master, in an evil bar and watches it all go down Thank live god. on an I evil TV. Evil bar. Continued on back. The evil bar. What? Carol raises a glass and toasts to the evil Power Master and his evil genius. The evil bar patrons raise their evil glasses and erupt Arr! into evil cheers. Evil cheers! <laughs> so, Coos Carol, what's next? Well, says the evil power master, enjoying the Enjoying onion ring, an onion ring tower? Enjoying an onion ring tower. <laughs> I've been working on a new doubly evil thing. Oh, oh my God. Ooh, say the evil bar patrons evilly. Oh. The evil power master produces a whiteboard and a dry erase marker. What? It's, it's, <laughs> he's going to teach them algebra. It's going to go something, he says, like this. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. Here's my evil plan. So we wow. read the card. Yes. Which so, makes no fucking sense. Yeah. The yeah. end, yeah. if you let it be. Yes. And there's a little drawing of the evil power there's master. A drawing of and, the power and Carol master. power yeah. master Carol. is there oh. at the bar. What the hell's Carol doing? She's, she's all right. Carol, she, she's we went to school better. with her. She's looked better. She's looked better. She wasn't much of a power master she back then, but she's grown into up. herself. Okay. She's really girl bossing her way to victory. All right, what do we do now? <laughs> <laughs> she's girl bossing her way to victory. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> object of the game, uh, survive. The evil Power Master is leading a violent rebellion against the Lacunian system, an alliance of several galaxies and thousands of planets. You are part of a rapid force crew from Lacus, tasked with bringing him down before he can carry out his sinister plan. This is a cooperative game in which players work together as a team to defeat the evil Power Master. Mm. Your crew must use data, clues, and an ingenious algorithm to mm. boost a radio signal that will lead you to the evil Power Master's secret location. If your crew discovers the evil, evil Power Master's location before he realizes his evil scheme, a final battle ensues. If the crew defeats the evil Power Master, the Lacunian system is saved. Otherwise, it is destroyed and all order in the system is lost. Mm, I think it just right. happened. Yeah. Or it happened before, and this is now where we're picking up because he's now his new plan is this? Well, it said this sure. is the end, uh, or will you let it be? Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. what so, made me think that this is This is, is a right. possibility. Okay. This one says the end, or is it? This one says the end and a new beginning. So okay. I feel like All this right. is good. All right. Or is it? All right. Set up. Mm. We've got everything out. We're good. Mm-hmm. Um, story cards, which I guess is that pile. Mm-hmm. Many story cards include story choices that will send you to other story cards where you will, where you will see how your choices play out. Story cards may have optional or required challenges for the crew to take on. After reading the story card, decide as a group on any story choices you want to make or optional challenges you may want to take. Okay. Okay. Data cards. Story choices and challenges will often instruct players to draw a data card. Some data cards will move the story forward and may feature additional challenges or story choices. Treat these challenges and story choices the same as if they were encountered on a story card. Okay. Some data cards are items that are kept by the crew and may be used later in the game. Mm-hmm. Probably much like what they have down there yeah. already. Right. Yeah. When you discover one of these items, choose any character to give the item to. Place the item face up next to that character's card. It is now in their possession. There are two types of items. A challenge booster helps players overcome challenges. Each challenge booster is denoted by a challenge icon and a boost symbol. These are explained in detail on page six. Jesus. Okay. Why don't we play Scrabble? <laughs> <laughs> Assist items provide one-time abilities that can help the crew out at crucial moments and in certain situations. To use an assist item, follow the instructions on the card and then discard the card. All right, it's all pretty cut and dry, actually. So Is far. it? So far. Is it? We're on page oh, so far. Is it Pass the rule book. Yeah, <laughs> this makes no sense. To start. <laughs> no, so, we start with a story card and, and figure out where it goes from there. What story right? card? Um. I hope those weren't supposed to be in any kind of order, because I don't think they are. They are in order. Okay, great. They are in perfect order. Oh, do they actually have numbers on them and shit? Yeah. Okay. That's fantastic. Um, Why do the data cards start 
with a number that's not zero. Where are you going, Maybe it, it gets to I zero. I mean, the rule book, as you read as well, says don't shuffle them. So I'm Maybe they yeah. need to start like this. I was shuffling them. I don't know. Shuffle them? We'll figure it out. Sure, 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 sure. Um, <laughs> challenges. Some cards will present the crew with required or optional challenges. You must undertake all required challenges. You may choose whether or not to take on optional challenges. Thank you. We understand the difference between required and optional now. Because the, the words themselves... Can we do it like yeah. real life and just say, oh, I'll do that tomorrow and just procrastinate? <laughs> yes. yeah. I vote for that. We're yeah. too busy to do that. Um, each challenge falls into one of five different types. Ooh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's cut and dry. <clears throat> why, why didn't we play Krull again? <laughs> um, piloting, diplomacy, dexterity, perception, Ooh. and strength. Okay. Certain characters will be better suited to certain types of challenges based on their natural proficiencies, mm-hmm. which are on their cards. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, they have different numbers next mm-hmm. to their stuff, and that's like the D&D. things that they do. Yeah. Um, to perform a challenge, follow the following steps. Jesus. Number one, <laughs> check the challenge level. Number two, choose an active character to participate in the challenge. Three, choose a challenge booster, optional. Or four, roll the die and resolve. There's more. Okay, number one, check the challenge level. Should I just skip to this until we have a challenge? Yes. Yeah, the nice. challenge level is right on. We're never the side gonna retain here. it. I'm gonna skip this until we do a challenge. Yes. I'm just I'm trying to get it to tell me if this is right and yeah. we can start. Okay. I know the setup is right. I need I'm, a say, softer chair. I need a lazy boy. Uh, the only thing that, that, that nice. a lazy that baby. Nice. The only lazy, thing I'm confused of is when do these move up? That's the thing that I couldn't find in the rule book. It's really, this is not clear at all about how to do this. Well, right, at, the, sh- at the end of the rule book, um, I don't right. know if you've gotten there yet, I it haven't. does say do not listen to the rule book, listen to the cards, which I think is a really good... Oh, so the card might actually say go up one... God knows. Yeah, God, only God knows. <laughs> yeah. We will know at some point. Right. We, yeah. We'll figure it out. It's so unclear. Like, the first thing is we start with a story? Let's start with a story card. You know what? The story even... card has a sad kroner. So right. one point where it is. EPM oh, meter and signal tracker. This is important. Mm. The green signal tracker. The green signal tracker? Yes. Okay, thank you. Is on the board. The green signal tracker represents the level of your radio receiver, which rises throughout the game as you succeed oh, in these. challenges. Yes, yes, yes. And find more data. If the signal tracker reaches 25, you discover the evil power master's location. Yes. So we're trying to find him. Green is good. Green is so we good. want the green to go up. The red, the red the red EPM meter represents the passing of time and the oh. evil doings of the evil power master. EPM, evil power master. Oh, not, yeah. not, not, not CPM. No. Carol. Not Carol. Carol. Or their father, <laughs> Bill. Aren't they cousins? The CPM. They're cousins. I think they're cousins. Yeah. I think they're cousins. Right. The meter will rise as you lose challenges and when you travel between planets. If this meter mm. reaches 25... The evil power master wins and you lose. See. See the All right, so we need the sugar cube to go up on the green and not up on the red. Yes. Yes. Gotcha. All right. Okay, so um, I think the cards will have us flip this over, so it'll move this up. Are the Kimsey's kids having more fun playing Disney <laughs> Monopoly than we are? That's, I, I probably... We said no Monopoly, but now I'm feeling like maybe Monopoly would have been a simpler game. But I don't, Monopoly. Been, I don't no. want to play Capitalism, the board game right no, now. No, I'd rather play Space War and... Space War and mess War, it up. World yeah. War Three. I'm going to get you Lord of the Rings Monopoly. Yes. What Monopolies yes. do you have? Yeah. You have a few. She has Lord of the Rings and Spider Man. I have, Spider-Man. Lord of the Rings I have Animal Crossing uh, Monopoly. I have oh, that sounds Lord charming. Of the Rings it set. Oh. That sounds really good. And I have cute. Lord of the Rings trivia. I've never played something. Monopoly. Oh, yeah, it was oh it's a horrible game. Okay. <laughs> <That's laughs> <That's laughs> okay, planets. They sound important so planets. planets. Throughout the game, you will move the ship mover to different planets to explore them. When you get to a new planet, take the 13 story cards for that planet. Ah. And so pick a player to read the first one aloud. Pull the thirteen story. Pull They're the story cards out for the planets. In order. No. Okay. What? All right. They're while while right. she's reading, you're gonna pull all the planet story cards apart. The, the story does and make start separate with piles. Yeah. The story what? Starts the, it starts with the planet. But it's just said. But as you move to different planets, you pull different story cards. Yeah. So separate the cards into all the different planets, and then we'll figure out which one we start with. Which I think is Chrome Chrome More. Anyway. I think that's where Kilians are from. Um, no, that's... <laughs> Klingonia. That's Kronos. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Um, when you get to a new planet, take Klingonia. the 13 nice. story cards for that planet and pick a player to read the first one aloud. There are three ways in which your time exploring a planet can end. 
data find. You successfully find the last known location of the evil power master on that planet and use the data to boost your signal. Turn over the planet's signal booster disk and raise the signal tracker, the number shown. Move your ship to a new planet to explore. So I guess we get to choose where we start, maybe? <laughs> choose your adventure. Well, the end. Let's choose your adventure. Yeah, yeah. you are The ready. end. Okay, the did... team reaches a fruitless end or possibly a death. Follow the instructions on the card. Discard I'm the disc. Death. <laughs> choose a new planet to explore. You cannot return to the planet you just left. Okay, where should we start? Thank you. Well, we're already on... We're, we're on oh, Cro Cro Crone. Should we start on Earth? Because we're. It it's, doesn't say! Why isn't, doesn't it say? Somebody pick! There is an inner. Oh, yeah, there is an Earth. Yeah, there's an Earth. There, we're starting we're at on Earth. Earth. We're starting at Earth. Earth. The, this um, is Earth. The EPM meter or signal tracker reaches 25. Read end of the game on page 8 to see well, what happens next. It could be While you are en route to a new planet, characters may freely exchange cards with each other. There are several important things to keep in mind when deciding which planet to explore next. You may travel to any planet as long as it has a signal booster, di booster disc. You must raise the EPM meter by 2 for every path segment you travel along. Okay. Oh, we got to kind of make sense with our, our path then. Because mm -hmm. you can only go to one that has a disc on it. Right. So if you blank out discs here and there, and, and you can't get to a, other planet on the other side of it, right. you have to travel more. And the more we travel, the higher the, the sugar higher cube go, goes up on Correct. the red. Yes. So I say we do like a line, like right. 10, to 7, to 6, to 4, to 8. Oh, you know what I mean? Oh, oh, oh. So as we travel, every time we move to another planet, we raise it by 2. Because it yeah. took us like right. 2 days to get there. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, that makes sense. Yep. Um, the color of each signal booster disc indicates the possible strength of the boost. Blue discs are the weakest and pink are the strongest. Each planet has two challenge type icons below its name. These represent the challenge types that are the most common and second most common. Dylan has a question. It's <laughs> 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 um, Alex, I'm oh, sorry, Alex just said that you, Justin, you are choosing your own adventure in a totally different game. Yes. yes. Yeah. With okay. the, yes. Dylan, yes. So the the <laughs> cards are are a lot of just words, 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 and also many of the characters are speaking. So it's kind of like a script. Yeah. Do you want someone to pick a character. I mean, they, or, or we could, or we person? could, one person could just read the yeah, card. No, we'll take turns. As reading. we we'll take turns. It'll be fun. Yeah, let's take turns reading. Uh, all right. We're all thespians here. Um. um. <laughs> all right, we already have the end of the game. It's really unclear how you actually start. I have retained none of this. Not a none of this. <laughs> in the same boat. I just want to be clear. You well, read a lot of stuff. I did. And thank you for that. Yes, I and, did. And I don't remember. What's upsetting is that that was the quick star instructions. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! You have to be kidding. Yes, yes, there are deeper instructions. <laughs> Where? God. They're not here. It came what? with a book. Like a <laughs> <laughs> so Let's just kind of like jump in. Okay, start the card. What, how do we know what first the first card is? Earth. 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 Oh, Earth. Earth. Guess what? Guess what? Earth. Guess what? Those are supposed to be number side down. So can we switch them around and, and do it correctly oh, first? See. Dylan, you failed. Dylan, nobody <laughs> remembered. Nobody remembered numbers. That's All right, I'm gonna reread the quick start before we start. <laughs> nobody remembered numbers. Okay. One unfold the game board. Okay, we managed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Two, place one tracking cube on the zero of both. We've done that. Yeah. That's two points for us, yes. <laughs> Mix up the signal booster discs and randomly place one number side down on each planet. We've done, done that. Okay. Place the data cards in a stack next to the game board. Do not shuffle them. Place the ship mover and the die next to the game board. The ship mover is on the game board for some reason, but it's fine. All right, fine. Yeah, we'll Each player board. chooses their characters, blah, blah, blah. We already did that. You're in charge of the ship mover. Place the cards Ooh, with the active matter. side face up. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay. Active, active, active. Okay, we did that. All four players are using each game, regardless of the number of actual players. One player game, blah, blah, blah. Two player game, blah, blah, blah. When playing with five or more people, the players collectively control all of the characters. Shuffle the nine start items. We did all that already. Early in the game, you'll be directed to go to a planet. <laughs> Let's go. When? <laughs> Well, After the story starts. It must be in the story. Yeah. Yes. It's got to be. In what story? Yeah, in, in which, which one? Does <laughs> <laughs> start that? Does the epilogue tell us? I'm looking. No. The epilogue is just a strange I one. say we start at Earth. We just read the card for Earth. I mean, that makes sense because Earth seems like a good place a to good start. happy day. <laughs> All right. It doesn't, it doesn't say anything. Early in the game, we'd have to go to planet. When this happens, place a ship move on that planet. Take the 13 story cards for the planet and pick a player to read the first card aloud. Okay. Always keep the book cover card on top of the 
Always keep the book cover card on top of the story card deck you are currently reading. Well, she's got in there. Is there anything on the back of that that tells you, like, how the fuck to do this? No, it's no, just, just, it's just power the Power Master. Master. Right. 42. Okay. Birthplace. <laughs> Dastardo. Dastardo? <laughs> Dastardo. Da His occupation is an agitator, mastermind, and jerk. How do I get that job? <laughs> well, that, that, that applies to many of us here. Right? Yes. Yes. Bio. Major figure in the Purple Days War, uh, where he was thought to have been killed. A veteran Failed stand up comedian. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Has since rallied non lacunian system plants into a success. A success a successful rebellion. It's Louis C.K. Uh, in mm. all caps, <laughs> this sentence must be stopped. Alright, so I'm gonna uh, quickly yes. Google this because this is not. This strengths. does not seem. My strengths. So, I said it weird on purpose. Uh, yeah. Strengths. Solid mil minion organizer. Stylish. Confident. Has clear goals. Man, he sounds like That's what I'm looking for in a man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a minion's part. He has How the do you dream feel job, about though, facial hair? Being the agitator. Very... Particularly goatees? No. Weaknesses. Always yelling. Works too hard. <laughs> wants Goatee? to destroy civilization and Comma evil. evil. All right, I mean, fair. Huh. All right, I have no That's idea weakness. how. That's okay. So he's a field. All right. Person. So I do. Any of those have numbers on them? Like one, two, no, three? No. Because no. in the instructions, That'd it's showing me like one of them has a nine on it. They're all they're all numbered after the planet. Yeah. Oh, no, okay. No, no, one, two, no. three, four, it's five. It's okay. saying what order the cards go in after the planet. But yes. The planet yes. The order of the planet. All right. Okay. Well, I get. Fuck it. Let's start, start with Earth and see what happens. Earth. The Earth card. Earth. All right. Welcome Earth. to Earth. Earth, Commander. All right. Here we go. After a forty-five minutes of explanation. <laughs> Part one of seven. <laughs> this is supposed to take an hour. We've been looking, reading the instructions for an hour. War with evil hour. power master. EPM. <laughs> or, yeah, Carol's cousin. You think the cousin. next epilogue is Carol evil master? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> That'd be fun. All right, Sky. We're All trusting right. you. Are you okay? Earth. <laughs> Earth Commander <laughs> Flipto asks, are you certain? Absolutely, Chen says. He opens the equipment locker and pulls out three vacuum-sealed Enviro suits. Mm -hmm. The Martian frowns. But no one has set foot on Earth in for years, which makes it the perfect place for... <laughs> I'm going to voice this. <laughs> don't, you don't do a voice. <laughs> um, which makes it the perfect place for the evil power master to hide, says Chen. Set a course, Dante. Dante's mechanical arms punch in the coordinates, and the fizzlet rumbles. The stars outside spin and twist in a spark spiraling swirl, a sight that always makes Flipto think of frozen yogurt. But the Martian isn't licking his lips this time. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of game is this? Yo, I'm getting a line <laughs> Flipto and Dante will fall in love by the end. Yes! <laughs> Ship it. <laughs> Every game is a, is a romance sim if you try hard enough. <laughs> Tara, Flipto says, your people abandoned this world for a reason. All records of that were lost during the Purple Days War, Tara retorts, stepping into her, her Enviro suit. Earth may have been the evil power master's hideaway since those violent, violent days. Wait, violent, violet days, sorry. Flipto shakes... <laughs> Are you... <laughs> Dylan is like, why did I I'm come like here? In, it's like in English class when you, you do popcorn and you just read the book. You guys remember that? <laughs> like you take turns reading yeah, in English, it. and like you're always afraid you're the one who's gonna get called I'm just on. Because this is yes. exposition, it's just story. It's yeah, exposition there's so the much exposition. We have to know the story to get into it. Yeah. Flipto like shakes his head, but dons his own enviro suit anyway. Oh, Wh sorry, I thought you said Badonks. <laughs> and I was like, wait, Badonkadonks? Like, Badonkadonks. <laughs> uh, nickname. I feel like if I oh go to the bathroom, I'm just going to miss it. I'm in the same room. I'm just going to not know what's going on. We're going to be <laughs> Carol the Which Evil Master. <laughs> <laughs> Within minutes, the ship emerges into real space. I don't know. I guess yeah, we were in fake space. Were, yes. so we were in yogurt space. Yes. A green and blue globe spins below them. Dante executes a perfect landing in a forest clearing. Scanners indicate. <laughs> 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 
No, it's fine. It's just it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even drive without hitting your deer, so yeah, no. it's fine. What? Scanners indicate copious life signs and residual. Are you making a drink with yes. Dante? Oh my god. So they know Sorry. somebody named Dante, and every time <laughs> the name Dante comes up, everybody starts thinking about the Dante they know. Yes. And there's a whole inside joke thing with that Dante. The little robot says, be prepared for be prepared for anything. There we go. Yes. I told you it was going to be a romantic All right. It's a romantic the game. end. No, that's just the first of page. I have two more to go. You have to read all that? Yeah. Card one out of 18. What are we doing? Do you need to read all 18 cards or just the first one? I have no I'm idea. Sure I the instructions say nothing. The the world. It didn't say no. nothing. I just don't until the first oh, okay. thing happens. Okay. Okay. The first okay. thing is that exposition. Card right. three. <laughs> have fun. I'll be, I'll be right here. <laughs> the four crew members exit the fizzlet into a flush green forest with trees higher than the skys- skyscrapers on La Cousse. For a moment, everyone simply listens. No droning traffic, no static from neon billboards, no rumble of passing starships. <laughs> Chen looks puzzled. I expected more, I don't know, ruins? Pollution? Flipto frowns and checks the chrono on his wrist. It appears nature has reclaimed watch. everything. This is chrono. Yeah, they, okay. they, mean, they mean watch. They meant, it's like a watch, future word for watch. Are you awake? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just then, the bushes before them shake, and a man steps out. <laughs> you know what the deal in, like? It's funny, man. Like, um, he is slouched over with long hair and a heavy brow. He holds a crude club in his hand and wears a leopard skin tunic. Oh, they're in the past. God, this is me. Oh. This is the future. <laughs> the is this is Fred <laughs> The Nothing man takes one good. look at the crew and runs screaming back into the woods. <laughs> After a moment of stunned silence, Tara says, Was that a caveman? Flupto frowns and checks his chrono again. Perhaps there was a malfunction with our hyperdrive, he says, and we somehow time shifted into Earth's distant past. Howdy comes a voice from behind them. Everyone turns and sees that another man has emerged from the other side of the clearing. This one rides a horse and wears a plaid shirt. What? He tips his ten-gallon hat to the crew and smiles. Y'all looking for some? <laughs> no one knows what to say. I'm Flip- just looking for more instructions or something. Press the vodka. Flipko frowns and checks his <laughs> chrono <laughs> again. The cowboy shrugs and spurs his horse, riding back into the trees. This stinks of e- evil mastermind. Mind, Tara says. Chen instinctively removes his helmet and confirms that he can breathe in Earth's atmosphere. Always the best oh, way to Oh, confirm. I didn't miss yeah. out on there. Then. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> um, okay, there's a choice here. It says, if you follow the caveman, go to Earth Story Card 2. If you follow the cowboy, go to Earth Story Card 5. Oh. Ooh. Okay. All, right. All right. I see. That. Should we ask the people at home? Oh. Oh, is, yeah, is, like is anyone, anyone watching? still watching? If anybody's <laughs> watching, they've all left. If anyone's if watching, anyone's do we follow watching. a? Oh, we want to go with the first person who answers. Yeah, let's go. With all the right, first person cowboy. Answers. We follow a cowboy or we follow a caveman. My vote personally mm. is for cowboy. Just I because would, I he would speaks English. English. Yeah, I agree. He can actually talk to us. Yeah. Yes, we can yeah. learn something. Yes, he yeah. actually Caveman speaks. just go ooga booga. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Cowboys also have weapons that can kill us instantly. Well, you well, don't die. So, so does <laughs> that. <laughs> reverse All right, so Hal has suggested the cowboy. Reverse so cowboy. Like <laughs> so we're going to hang out and do reverse cowboy. Would be the cowboy. Okay, Hal has suggested cowboy. So Hal. Oh, okay, let's go with Hal says cowboy. I need the bell. We need the bell. Good job, Hal. All right. Five, card five. Okay. Is that your discard pile? Okay, this, this makes sense. Order. This makes sense because the two, end of the end of this is going to take us to another planet. Right. right. Four, five. Five. Or we die. And if we that die, we die. Impossible. And then we, we shake we, hands, we, go to bed. We we go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Find another planet. All right, Sky. We're with the cowboy. All right. Uh, Dante leads the crew south along the cowboy's cow- uh, sorry cowboy's most likely course. The project tr- to the microphone, you know. No, I know. I just want to make sure that the microphone. Listen, you weren't not projecting. I just want to make sure you continue to. You weren't not projecting, but just make sure you actually project. I just want you to be be aware that now people are paying attention and invo- involved in the game. Are they? Okay. I hope so. At <laughs> least, at uh, least that. Yeah. 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 The 
The trees start to thin out after 20 minutes, and the sun beats down as shade recedes. Chen begins to regret wearing his heavy, rapid force uniform. Reminds me of a Martian winter, Tou says. The path leads you to a majestic cliff, when mm. suddenly three ri- riders on black horses stampede into the path, cutting you off. The lead rider pulls out a wicked six-shooter. Oh, oh you were right. Oh, there we go. Oh, there the That's a stampede. Stop right there, the lead rider. Stop right there. Sh- shouts through his bandana. Bandit. Stop right there. there. <laughs> At least he's aware with the mask and, you know, yeah, he's you know, the he's pandemic. He's staying six feet away. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Uh, bandits, Terry yells. Smart lady, the bandit says. Empty out your pockets Damn. unless you're hankering for a sudden case of lead poisoning. We... Flipto gives Chen a look. <laughs> They're not about to lose everything yeah. they've found to some in- ill-mannered miscreants. Did we fight to kill them? We haven't actually found anything um, yet. Okay, we got our first required challenge. Ooh, okay. Outshoot the bandits. It's Ooh. Oh my. Okay. Do a challenge. So what does the guy's thing say? It has, should it have numbers or something? Uh, this is if we win, draw data 134. If we lose, draw data 140. The, there's no other instructions. So how do we, I mean, we have to know there's like no what his numbers are, right? Like to do a challenge, like we've got to like. There's no numbers. Gotta be. Oh Jesus! There's gotta be something going on it here. It just says require a challenge. Oh, shoot the bandits! And it says what numbers to pull. Oh. All right, let's look up how to do a challenge. I think we arm wrestle. Might be. I, I'm afraid for Chen in the Old West because they're going to put him on the railroad. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. All right. Is Challenges. Really Some cards will present the crew with a required or optional cool. no, not cool required or optional challenges. You must undertake required, blah, blah, blah. Each challenge falls into one of five different types. What are our types? There's got to be a type on there. Is there an icon or a picture? Uh, there's a picture of like a, a like swirly. swirly arrow. Okay, that's dexterity. Okay. Piloting, diplomacy, dexterity, perception, and strength. So whoever has the best dexterity should definitely be doing so this. So it's Tara and Commander Chen who um, have plus one. Okay, so what are their items? Do either of their items have anything to do with dexterity that would help? Well, I couldn't read this if you paid me. Um, let's see. Dead air. Uh, Chen and Tara, right? So mm-hmm. what is Tara's item? Tara has a, galactor, <clears throat> a galactic nabber from Earth. He's... Uses advanced Earth technology to retrieve items from long distances. Okay. She can snatch the gun out of his hand. Yeah, it's a oh, freaking, it's a grabber. It's a grabber. It's yes. a grabber. Yeah, look, it's a picture. It's for getting things off of shelves. Oh, it is. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can hold the picture up to the camera. Yeah. Uh, it, it won't work. It won't, it won't work because uh, it won't focus. Um, Chen has a Haymog Karma Inducer. So it's just if we lose a challenge, the EPN doesn't go. All right. It actually goes to zero. So all we have is what oh. they have on their... Wow. So Tara. Okay. Both of them have plus one. All right, so we can pick either one of them. Is, does something happen with the dice? I want to go with Tara, does, I think, yes. um, because the, the Wild West was very racist. Not anything oh. that happened to Chen. Well, she's a woman. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah like pick your poison. Well, I don't want anything that to happen to her either, but I think like, you she's know, the people, the I think they would be less likely to shoot her. She could grab the gun. I think they'd be like, little lady, we don't want to shoot you, but if they saw an Asian guy, they would just shoot, shoot away. Shoot to kill. Yeah. Why don't you make the robot do it? So what do Because they, they have loose. the better dexterity. Yes, the yeah, he has, dexterity. he has minus one dexterity. Yeah, no, he's not Tara, going to do it. Tara thinks that we should go with her so she can snag the guns with her grabber. Yeah, we're going to do Tara. Okay. okay. Now All what right. do we do? So check the challenge level is the first thing we have to do. The challenge level is determined by the signal tracker's current position. Oh. So we are at level four. What? Because well, we're right here. Signal tracker challenge level equals four. Oh. It says it right here. Anywhere oh, in that oh, area. I'm sorry. Four. I can't oh, see that from here. I was very confused for a moment. If the signal tracker is at 0 to 6, the challenge level is 4. Look at you, Dylan. If it's 7 to 12, it's 5. If it it's says 13 it on the board. or higher, it's 6. The challenge level is a number a player must reach or exceed with their die roll in order to win the challenge. So, so we've got gotten there. Dice. So our cowboy <clears throat> is a level 4 is what I'm hearing. He has a level 4 dexterity. We now have to beat 4 with our die Match roll. Match or beat? Plus the 1. Um, I think beat. Choose an active character. We already did that. Oh, are they plus ones or minuses? They're plus, plus ones. Okay, great. So is um, it just one plus one? Yeah. Yeah. When choosing which character to use for challenge, take into account each character's proficiencies as well as challenge boosters. You must choose an active character to perform the challenge. So we have to pick a single person. We can't just say nobody or everybody. Godspeed. Yeah. Um, put the character above the butt. Active side. Oh, if someone gets killed, you flip them over. And All then right. at the end, if there's nobody left, you flip Come them over. Come on, little lady. 
Um, choose a challenge booster. We're not going to do because nope. they're not applicable, right? Nope. Okay. Oh wow! <laughs> if you pick a challenge booster and roll a one, it's like a natural one, and it, the, your item gets destroyed. Wow. So we're not picking one. Roll the die and resolve. Roll the die. Add or subtract a number on the character card that matches the challenge type, if there is one. Then apply the effects of a challenge booster if one was played. The resulting number is your challenge total. Roll the dice. Um, roll the I dice. want to see what happens if we have to match it or better. Yes. Yes, we got we're a good. Six. Right. Six. We did it. We so did we it. have one. We rolled a five. And she has a plus five. one. So we have a six. Mm -hmm. yes. And our cowboy is only a four. Correct. Right. Vanquish the bandits. Um, so draw data card 134. After performing the challenge, whether okay. you won or lost, flip the character card to the inactive side. So okay. Tara's now inactive because she's tired. Because she's kicking east. ass. Yes. Do we have to move Go the cube? Tara. Awesome. Um, that's the next thing I'm getting to. EPM meter and signal tracker. The green signal tracker. Wait, what? What number? 134. 134. It doesn't say what happens if you win or lose. Where do we put the signal tracker to? It, it doesn't tell me. I'm Don't reading. Don't this. Make me really want to believe in God. <laughs> this is like a religious experience? I <laughs> Make me want to believe in an afterlife after all this. Read that for us, Dan. Dinosaur Egg. You were quick to, let's see, you were quick to the draw and the bandits dropped dead. Out of the lead, the bandit's coat falls a green and orange dinosaur egg. The shape and size and color is really gross, let's see, is of a really gross grapefruit. Oh. Nice. Keep this card. There you go. We have a dinosaur. So does Tara get it, or does do any of us get it? I think we have to put it with somebody as the, part of their inventory. So keep the card and finish Earth Story Card Five. So I guess that's what happens when okay, you. Okay. So you're it does not appear to me that these trackers move at all at this point. Yeah, that's. I mean, well, these the. I think it only goes, goes up, up by going between move. planets. Okay. But when and the same well, tracker moves up no, after that. We just got a dinosaur. In. <clears throat> That's you put it cool. that way. Right? We, we just have got food. A, a grapefruit sized <laughs> dinosaur. Would you, you have That's would you omelets. Eat, would you eat if that? I could eat a dinosaur, I would eat a dinosaur. It would it's be omelets. pretty cool. Right. He's not wrong. It's, a, I, it's, a, it's a western omelet. It is. You ever Literally. had an ostrich egg? I've never. never had an ostrich egg. Nor have I. We should I, have ostrich eggs. I don't, want, I don't have egg. the want. But you would do an, uh, a dinosaur egg. Well, that's different. It comes with a side of meat. There we go. I didn't look at it there. All right. What is the next card? All right, um, you had a win and a loss instruction on the card, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I was confused about what you do when you win or lose. It's printed on the card of the challenge. And the win was just take, one take one number 134 okay, or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. With the bandits dead, the forest rangers <laughs> They are dead with dead? the grabber? We've murdered them. No, Congratulations, she Tara. You destroyed the cowboys. Yeah, Killed them. Um, Killed the them. bandits dead, the forest returns to silence. Uh, remember, there was three of them, so Tara took them out. Tara's a um, stone that's why cold active. killer. She's just dangerous. She's tired. That was some fine, uh, that was some darn fine shooting. Comes a voice from behind. It's the cowboy. Where are you folks from? Out of town, Chen says. Way out, Dante adds. Seems about right, the cowboy says with a nod. What can I help you all with? Tara squints. Was this man watching while the bandits attacked the crew? And now we have two choices. If you ask the cowboy about the evil power master, go to Earth's card 11. If you don't trust the cowboy and want to scale the cliff, go to card 10. I say scale. All right. Do we trust this cowboy? <clears throat> I don't trust anybody. No, uh, I say scale. But climbing know. is also dangerous. Remember what happened last time we went with the cowboy? We <laughs> did almost die. Oh, yeah, Yeah, we true. followed him. Around, you know. That is true. I, I don't say know if I trust these guys. Plus, if he was watching us almost get killed by these other cowboys, and did not help, he did well, yeah. What do you just think? Like most men. VIPs. They just sit and watch. Why don't, why don't we let the VIPs make a choice? Uh, first VIP to choose, <laughs> we will do. Do we go with the cowboy and ask him questions, or do we scale a cliff face? I don't really want to climb. If any of you are still watching. I feel like climbing might be better than if the cowboy. If any of you are awake. So. <laughs> it is like 12.45, and it took us seven hours to read these instructions that are not clear. I have to be honest here. For very in-depth, detailed instructions, they, they go into so much minutia right, right. that they're not like, start here. Like That's a pretty basic thing that you should really probably publish like first. Alex Conkle, ask the cowboy. All right, oh, Alex okay. wants us to go with the cowboy. Okay. So we're going to card 11. That's actually what I wanted to do. Uh, data card number 11? 
No, no, no. no, no, no. no, no, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Story card. Oh, okay. Now, that, that blew us past a bunch of cards. Right. We might go back to them. So the oh, way, yeah, 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 yeah the way Choose Your Adventure books work is it not, they don't necessarily go forward. I agree. I was going to ask the You might one. bounce around back and forth, so we might go back to one of those. The cowboy nods slowly as Chen explains... Am I on the right card? I did say 11, right? That doesn't sound like right. Yeah, you asked him about <clears throat> uh, the evil power master. Uh... Yeah, do we ask him about the evil power master or do we scale a cliff? Yeah, so we yeah, asked him and now he's yeah. nodding slowly. Yeah, the cowboy nods slowly as Chen explains Rapid Force's quest and their desire to stop the evil power master's evil plans. He doesn't seem to grasp every word of it, but like a true cowboy, he understands that evil men need to be brought to justice. Mm. Bad eggs tend to come in batches, the cowboy says, and I know a real bad egg around these parts. Follow me. The cowboy leads the crew through the forest and to a huge open plain, open plain filled with grazing brachiosaurus. Yeah, yeah it's, a hard, it's a hard word to read. It's a C H on the brachiosaurus. They're Italian. <laughs> <laughs> brachiosaurus. <laughs> the lumbering beasts scoop up leaves in their massive jaws, unaware of the presence of intruders. The cowboy points to a column, column, column of smoke beyond the herd. Over yonder is the most wicked fella I know, he says. If anyone on earth has seen this evil power galoot, it's him. He gestures at the gigantic dinosaurs and their huge stomping feet. Best of luck getting past those hombres. Wait, he wants us to speak to the dinosaurs? No, no there's, dinosaurs. there's a camp on the other side of the oh. big ombre dinosaurs. Yeah. And we are at another required challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Navigate uh, through the herd of... Br Bra Bra Brachiosaurus. Brachiosaurus. <laughs> ah, the Brachiosaurus. Is if we win, we get to draw that card. One, four, four. If we lose, All right. we have to race at eat. EMP meter. What do we do okay. here? Did um, we move this yet? No. No, we didn't have to because we keep. We only move it when we go pool. between either a, either a challenge we do could help us raise it mm -hmm. or it could hurt us All right. by raising the other thing yeah. or when we go between planets it raises it. Then you want to roll? Sure. Um, it is what, a dexterity. Hold on. What are dexterity this, again? Yeah. So who do we want to use? We can't use. Well, Tara's asleep, so Chen. we got to use Chen. Or Damn it, Chen! Wait, should we waste Chen. him yet? Or should the we... item he has makes it so that if we do lose, we don't have to erase the EMP later, right? But he yeah. has a plus one. But do we want to waste him? There might come another dexterity. Right now, we're, it's Gordon really Bennett. easy to get it. All right, is he? A, is, this is a negative one, right? He's for dexterity? Yeah. Yes. Well, is this a really, both negative? They're both negative but ones. But his, his belt says that you automatically win any challenge. Oh, what? Shit. What? Yeah. No, we should... We, Keep that, that. That that's kind of like a golden ticket. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, we should save that for like more and more. I've got a golden ticket. When do the cards do? get react? When do the people get reactivated? When there's Good no one question. left, then you flip them all back over. I see. Oh, okay. so kind of Terra's in suspended animation. Correct. Yes. All right. So we can use Dante, but we but won't you, use his belt. You have to choose but whether or not you're going to use his belt. Then the belt goes away. So then, I I, I just, think Flipto is the only one that's. I think Flipto would be a good choice. He's the only one that's. I don't um, want to waste Chen yet. He's, he he's a plus corporal one. expendable. He, Why can't we take the belt from Dante's corpse? Because it, it's already assigned. Well, because it's you, so that cool. is true. Well, I mean, <laughs> so we're just saying, robbing the dead here. Well, well he's a robot. Was this this really escalated. Alive? This escalated very well, quickly. There's five different types of the the de dexterity and stuff. I really doubt we're gonna get three in a row. I just, might as well use him. I mean, we've gotten two. I, I'm, so I we tend to yeah, agree so with Skylar. Really so who are, are right who are we picking? Who are we picking? I say Chen. My vote's for Chen. I say Flipto. Well, Chen. I was also thinking Flipto, but... Well, that's two Fliptos and three Chens, George. <sighs> What's this thing? It's that, a karma. The we... vice created... Device created on Haymog that hastens karmic retribution in any situation. Discard this card when you lose a challenge to reduce any EPM meter movement penalty to zero. Mm -hmm. So if he loses, we wouldn't... So that this doesn't stays there. Yeah. It would stay. Gotcha. We've been okay. Let's go Dante for me. Your vote's Dante? You mean Chen? Oh. Chen. No, I meant Dante. Oh, okay, but we just Dante? have a Dante. Dante. Well, that's just a wasted vote. So we have, so we have three <laughs> Chens, two Flipdos, and a Dante. I mean, to me, that's Chen. All right. All right. Well, who, I'm going to roll then. Who, All right. Who do you pick? It is Chen? 
We'll find out when mom rolls. I, she just wants to play the guy. I don't, <laughs> Commander, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Chen. We're not on Chen. the board right now. Gone, Ben, it's Chen. Not Chen. Six. Six. Oh. All right. Plus it's actually seven. 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 Yeah. yeah. It's all right, so we win. So we're fine. All right, win, uh, draw data card one, four, four. And also inactivate Chen. Oh, yes. Yeah. So we've, we've blown our, our good guys. What? Well, 144. Good. The other ones are good at other stuff. All right, George, That's you want to read this one? Sure. Short range hover module. I just remembered, Dante announced, smacking his forehead. Psh! I recently installed this. A panel on his undercarriage slides open oh. to reveal a hover module. The crew steps on and floats past the herd. Woo! Nice. Look at that. I, I, I guess I discard this. Uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Dante's wow, he full of tricks. Yeah, Dante's right. always pulling stuff from his undercarriage. Yeah. Okay. See? All right. Blessed Dante's undercarriage. With the herbivorous beasts outsmarted, you make your way towards the smoke. Go to Earth Story Card 7. So let's see. Smobic. The crew works their way through the ju- the jungle and finds the source of the smoke, the charred remains of a covered wagon. A large pack of velociraptors with laser guns. <laughs> it's the dino riders! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It's a Cowboys large... versus Alien. It's Cadillacs and dinosaurs. Yes. Oh. <laughs> there we go. A large pack of velociraptors with laser guns grafted on their foreheads. <laughs> laser raptors with two lines in between it, pokes through the wreckage. <laughs> they know something, Chen says. What Terri- do they know? What do they know? <laughs> what could they Terri- possibly know? Suspicious. Clever girl. I remember this book as being better than this. Let's just, uh, <laughs> this bunch is going to share way info with us. They can talk. They can, they No, Tara said that. Tara no, said no, no, no. The, the, the dinosaurs <laughs> they, can share info with it's us? Like a Look at the mind Oh, there's, there's even a picture of them standing on a velociraptor's back with the laser on That's a very head. big, big velociraptor. Wait, I can't be a velociraptor. That's very definitely big not a We're very small people. Why are they? I think they're oh, on a mountain. Yeah, I think that's right. And then the velociraptor is in front. It's a forced perspective. It's forced perspective. Yeah. You got that right. It's like dinosaur hunter. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Tara looks suspicious. This bunch isn't going to share info with us. You got that right, the laser raptor in charge says. Nice. <laughs> Stop banging the table because it makes the microphone. It's okay. They've got brains like chimpanzees. What but can better. you... <laughs> what is the Dinosaur percentage? He's like... I, I said, he sounds like a New York taxi guy. Right? Like, you got that right. <laughs> yeah. right? Is that what he sounds Because we got everything in this. What Cowboys. can you trade us for it? They can talk, says Flipto. Obviously Flipto. <laughs> Right? <laughs> We've been looking fruit, all over Flip for down. a missing embryonic organism in a cal-fortified um, case. <gasps> yes, it's funny. Wait, the egg. Wait, the egg. Yes. Oh, wait. They're looking for the dinosaurs. I told you he wanted us to talk to the dinosaurs, and you what? said I was wrong. That you wanted them to go to a camp. I said, oh, he wants us to commune with the dinosaurs. You did say that. I did. What, what, so we I are remember this conversation. Are, are we on drugs or are they on drugs? I have no idea what we're talking Probably about. Probably right all of us. <laughs> <laughs> when did they say about communing with dinosaurs? I have no clue. I, I said it. I don't remember this at all. We're going to have to do that When the cowboy was replay. talking to us earlier, um, it was mentioned. And like it, it was just one of those passing things. Oh, but all right. I don't remember you even saying it. I don't remember either. So they're looking um, for a dinosaur right and we happen to have one. All right. Don't give it to them. Well, no, so absolutely give it, it to them. If an active or inactive character has data 134, which is the dinosaur egg, mm-hmm. skip the challenge below and draw data 146. Oh. We oh. have it. Do we so have we to lose it? The interesting thing, though, is, well, if we didn't have that, we'd have a required challenge of negotiate with the laser But raptors. since you gunned down... Those dudes, we yeah. got it. But the weird thing is, if we won that challenge, it would be data card, data card one four five. They must have stolen the egg. So yeah. Depending on read projectors. Okay. I've read my fair share of paleonto- paleontological text, says Tara. They're talking about the egg we found on the bandit earlier. She presents the egg to the raptors. They accept it gratefully and place it lovingly on the ground, surrounding their precious one with dirt and leaves. They will <laughs> bury it. All right. Okay. That's nice. See, we're making friends. Yeah, see? 
and influencing people. Friends and influencing people. And raptor, and laser raptors. raptors. I just want to know, is it born with the laser inside of it? It is. That's amazing. They said they were grafted. Oh, so yeah. somebody is putting it on them. Yeah. Wow. Or they're doing it themselves. I mean, they have dinosaur surgeons. They, they spare no expense. Spare. So where are we speech. going? Well, they have the tiny arms so they can, like, Do they have dinosaur Yeah, they do microsurgery. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, what? Do they have dinosaur lawyers? Sure. No, they have unfrozen caveman lawyers. They have dinosaur med school? Unfrozen caveman wow. lawyer. So they're going to become doctors. The raptor has feathers. <laughs> the raptor does not have feathers, Alex. Dun, dun, it looks dun, like... Dun. It looks right. What is next? The raptors chirp and bob their heads, eager to take the crew to their master. Chirp and bob. The crew follows the raptors deeper into the woods. <sighs> you know, it's got to be Ming the Merciless well. guy. We haven't moved at all. <laughs> no. We're not. You don't move until you the get to a different that kind of bard planet. Game. Bard. Yeah. Bard game. Like to play the bard game. Like the bard. <laughs> it doesn't say anything about moving it, except when you do things. <laughs> Right. So the games are when we do one planet, right? No. Sure. We have to get to 25, no. and each planet is an hour. This game's an hour long if John Mashida is re- reading the cards. We like, actually have to go to every single one. Every every single one. There's a good chance we won't get to all the planets. Yeah, no, this is the but first of But you're supposed to get to 25. Episodes of this. This is insane. All right, go ahead. The prehistoric escorts lead the crew through the forest and into the mountains beyond. The going is rough and the elevation increases. The organic members of the crew feel the effects of the thinning air. In the late afternoon, everyone starts up a steep, rocky trail. Snow begins to fall. After an hour or so, a frost-covered samurai steps in front of the crew. They're just throwing (laughs) everything at us. Preventing them from going forward, he rests his hand on the hilt of his sword and shouts in Japanese. Can I do it? (laughs) <laughs> no. Well, no. Is be Some people have real jobs yes. here. <laughs> <laughs> well, he shouts in Japanese. There's no line for him. It just says, he says we can't Shouting answer. in Japanese! Okay. Right? So, why was that an artist version? Because I don't yeah. want to be too racist. What? I don't want to try and do a samurai impression. So you did Arnold Schwarzenegger instead? Yeah, I just did like well, a tough guy. Oh right? That's a tough guy. The Germans are going to be very angry. He says <laughs> the Austrians are going to be even more angry Austrians. than you confuse them with Germans. <laughs> My little schnitzel. He says we can't enter. Dante translates unless we best him in combat. Okay, bom, bom, bom. I'll have your leg. No problem, Chen says, cracking his knuckles. Chen's asleep. I told you there was going to be another. <laughs> the samurai bows, then produces a set of playing cards and follows out and folds out a small table. Poor translation. My bad, Dante says. We need to best him in a game of go fish. Of course. He is very bored up here. What do you call a fish with no eyes? <sighs> Required challenge. Beat the samurai at go fish. Okay, which of these five um an attributes? An oh, eyeball? Yeah, it's a triangle with eyeballs. Okay, so that's, perception. that's perception. That's perception. So, <laughs> flipto. So, flipto. Only flipto. 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 What does his flipto. item do? Flipto. flipto. What does flipto. flipto's item do? The, the it looks like glue. Um, You're trying to talk to it. it has interchangeable. Atomizer containing a revitalizing oil from the planet Aruft. Discard this card at any time to make all characters active. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's a very good card. That's good to know. Just in case. Uh, you picked very good with the starter cards. How about that? Um, somebody rolled a dice. Nice. God, sweet. Can I just go? Can I sure. Make, make it so. Five. Five. Six. Good. Six. Six. And we had to beat a four, right? Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> well, all of the dice have been the dice have been rolling in our favor. If well, you a, win, you beat a four. raise the signal tracker by two and continue below. We did so, it! Finally! All right. Oh man, we are on the way to winning. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that three yeah. you can count as a win. <laughs> I think so. You might be on to something. Actually, in the fifth rule book, it says that you do. <laughs> <laughs> The samurai grunts. His uh. go fish skills are very rusty. He stands uh. aside uh. and permits everyone to pass. Good story card eight. Uh, eight out of 340. <laughs> I'm going to go to the back. <laughs> Dylan, is right Dylan is out. Dylan is out. I think I will. It's compelling. <laughs> this is, let 
Let me know when we meet it's President freaking, Trump or Biden. Oh, you don't want to miss this one. <laughs> he stopped dead no, his you tracks don't and came miss back. This. I'm okay. already reading ahead. You don't. Okay. All right. Chen, Tara, What did we Lipto, get for winning? Just that? And Dante find themselves at a domed structure nestled deep in the oh, mountains. Okay. Mm-hmm. It is covered in satellite dishes, radio antennas, and telescopes. Oh, we win. This is where we win, right? Yeah. The front door is unguarded. Inside, the structure is much bigger than it seemed from the outside. Oh, it is smartest. entirely hollow, and every surface is covered with screens. An old man sits in a padded vel- velvet chair in the middle of the cavernous lair, watching Zulu warriors play tennis with Viking maiden- maidens on one screen, and giggling <laughs> Roman centurions. Wrestling gorillas. Don't look at me, I don't know. You won't it. <laughs> Roman Centurion wrestling with gorilla, gorillas on another. The old man pets something in his lap. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Something? You can go now. I just something. The Vikings and shit. Something? Something He pets lap. something. The crew appro- approaches. <laughs> I love my lap. And, and Chen speaks, his voice echoing. You must pick up a lot of strange things on these screens. All boring stuff, the old man says. I've seen it a thousand times. Bah. Um, Bah. We have to flip Flip, though, over. He's inactive now. Oh, yeah. Just with Dante. (laughs) Did you make all this? Tara asks. Getting closer, she sees that the man is petting a cat-like banana. I'm glad I didn't leave. <laughs> it's actually... Okay. I wouldn't understand It's actually thing. Oh. what they used to call me in high school. Oh. <laughs> a cat-like banana? Mm, sorry. It's a long story. You're not sorry. It does involve... Sorry, not sorry. A, a, closer, <laughs> a closer look shows it's an actual banana with four legs, a tail, and a mouthful of fangs. Wow. Does it meow? That's fun. Most, not all, the old man points at a screen. I didn't like that one. The screen is fuzzy and unclear. And then it's a required challenge. Unscramble the image. All right, we got Dante to do that. He's a robot. Oh, Wait, no. there's a picture of the banana. I want to see it. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you, You're not going to make me edit this and, and put a banana in it, are you? <laughs> it's a banana. My God. Yeah, that's that, horrifying. That's, that is an, <laughs> that is an so evil banana. So, the challenge is a persuasive. I think the old man's wearing Spider Man pajamas. Okay, so we don't have a negative on persuasive, but we don't have a plus one. All right. I mean, not persuasive. Um, per- perception. perception. Yes. All right. All right. So we're we're okay. Well, we could use his belt. Uh, just automatically yeah. win the I challenge. Would, I say we should keep it. Yeah, I we really should keep want to Do we have to it. choose yeah, first yeah, to use it? Yes. Oh. I I say we should keep <laughs> it. We only have to be like a four. A four. How okay. easy is that boat? Uh, I don't. Know. <laughs> Oh, no, not What happens if we tie? Hold on. What happens if we tie? Yeah. Well, game over. We all get to go home and go to sleep. (laughs) Okay, equal to or higher. So we have a 50 50 chance. There you go. Is that math? It's four, five, now. or six. That's three. One, two, or three. That's also three. So we have a half. That is math. Yeah. Oh, oh, Lord. (laughs) (laughs) And we lost. Okay. It's uh, okay if we lose. Okay. Raise the EPM meter by two, the red one. Oh, great. Okay, so something's moving. All right. <laughs> and another active character must try. There is no more active there characters. Is no more. <laughs> we flip them all over now because they're all inactive. Oh, oh, that is true. Yep, so they all get active yes. again. Everyone's activated again. When well, the last good. active character performs a challenge, make all characters active again. Nice. Flip the character cards back to active. So now okay. somebody has to try again. Flipto mm-hmm. has a plus one. All right. No! Let somebody else roll the dice now. Who's been getting good rolls? I'll do it. He rolled a two again. <laughs> Come on, baby. A four. four We're a good. five. There we go. Oh, oh who five. did that one? Flipped out. Flipped out. Oh, so okay. A five. So he gets flipped out again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he's, he's All right. We won. Oh. Yeah. Win. Draw data one four seven, and I'm pretty sure it's the end because that's the last thing on the card. So. Does it say if we lose, we try again? Yes. Okay. No, it just ends the game. Yeah, but listen, who put the lasers into the dinosaurs? <laughs> this old man where's, with where's the pepper the man, man the, 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 This might have your answers. Thank you. Yes. Data find. Why did you touch me? Flipto fiddles with so. knobs to restore the image on the screen. It's looped video footage of the evil power master oh, of Earth. No. 
<laughs> no! The data provides excellent material to add to Flipto's algorithm. <gasps> Turn over the disc and raise the signal tracker. By? The amount shown. What's the amount shown? I don't know. It's six. that. It says we six. We win! That's a nine! That's, That's a six. six. That's oh. a six. six. Oh. But wait, there's more. <gasps> if any character has one or more of the following data, raise the tracker an additional amount shown. Okay. 136 plus 2. S1 minus 9 plus 3. What, what the hell? hell? <laughs> Please help me. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> These are numbers. Okay. So. You're my only hope. Do we have 136 in the pile of stuff? A what? Did That's I what I was trying to figure out. 136? But, like, what happened to all the items that we collected throughout this? That hasn't run in front of When, uh... We only had the egg. It's the only one we got and we gave it, we gave it back. Yeah? Okay. So we stay. I mean, it's These are size. starter items. It says if, if, SI, if you yeah, want yeah. to read it. Remember the egg. What number oh, was S- the egg? So we have that right there. These are S1 dash 1 through 6, I think. So we have S1 dash 9. Do we have that on we here? We do, right here. We do. So we move <laughs> up 3. Yes, this is great. I love this. Do we have, and we don't have a 0, 8, 9 anywhere. We have, we have the 9, 3, the 1, nine. and the 6. And we don't have a 136, so no. that's the end of that. Okay. Okay, so I think we, we did pass 10. Yeah. I Look think this is a good time to. <laughs> 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 we are ahead. Yeah, we are ahead. Look at there. All right, so I think at this point in the game, you're supposed to go to the next planet and I choose you, one. Yeah, I think you're supposed to decide on a planet. I, uh, um, you got a couple choices there. I, I like, follow. There's two ways to do this, right? Not that we're going to do it tonight. But there are two <laughs> ways to do this. Uh. Yep. Yeah. Uh. Oh, wow. Uh. Right? Because right. sure. you want to keep it in the lines of straight. Or, uh, 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 uh. I, I like... I just like all the. Uh, 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 I agree with all of you. You so, understand what I'm saying, Lynn? I say we go Here. to Silica. Silakia? Slovakia? Right. So that's a plus two for the uh, EPM meter, then. Correct? Because yes. is there a red two between them? Yes. 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 All right. It looks like we're continuing. I guess well, so. well, <laughs> we could take a picture yeah. here. Let's <laughs> <laughs> take a picture. And... I'm good with that. And, uh, and leave our viewers on the in, cliff. In suspense. suspense. And then come in back suspense. if we yes. want to come back and continue from here. I could totally take a picture of the game board. These don't change. None of that changes. Yep. W- these are the same. I'll just take a picture and we'll have that. The story things stay the yes, same. So the only thing... completed. Yep. Yeah. yeah, we finished Earth. So Silica would be next. We do this. Yeah. Right, I like this. On. We can leave them in suspense and have two episodes. Or five. Five. Or five. Or five. Seven. <laughs> yeah, we have all of these planets. Yeah, we have still. plenty of planets well, to burn. Here's through. the thing: you don't need all the to do all the planets to win. I mean, we already have like how many points? These are the starter yeah, items we didn't true. use, right? So, so I yes. think you're actually not supposed to do all the planets because then the next time you play the game, as though you're ever going to want to play this bullshit you know again, everything. You would then have new planets to explore. I'm taking a picture, guys. There we go. Just start reading the card. <laughs> are each of these unique? Of no. Yes, they are. They're unique. The colors are unique, yeah. No, there's three that are the same. We're just moving. No, they're different numbers. They're different numbers. No, the numbers are unique, but you're not supposed to know the numbers. You're not supposed to know the numbers? Sure. Yeah, so this yeah. doesn't matter. Well, as long well, as we put those back yeah, over there. Yeah, just are. make the colors right. the right the right colors. Because different colors mean different yes. things. One more time, I'll I take think. another picture. I think the different colors have different meanings. I forget what they And uh, I think the, like thus signal. will end our first playing of the really quick, easy <laughs> to understand. <laughs> uh, boy, you could do this without reading any of the, instru- any of the 500 pages of instructions. The war with the evil power master is actually setting the game up and learning the game. That's the real war. That's, that, yeah. is, that, that is, is the, the war. war. There's a, it seems like a pretty steep learning curve with this game. But look, um, we got halfway up the... Yeah, we did! Yeah. Well, the the see, dice like, have been in, in our just, favor. In just one planet. Just which one tells planet. me, yeah. which well, tells me, two planets you could win. Exactly, it tells me that in, in two or maybe three planets, three planets, well, you could you could win, win in an hour if you know you. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, next Within time we will act distance. better. Next time we'll win. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> next for time sure. for sure. Uh, if you guys enjoyed watching this, um, <laughs> what's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, click subscribe. Uh, we we do this. Uh, you and your likes and subscribe. We're gonna do this like once a week. I actually got a little animation that like I'm gonna put up right here that says like and subscribe and has like little buttons. Check out our little animation. Click. Um, um, if you would like to become part of this and actually be active live. Like our VIPs yeah. were. During if you saw the Hal or or we well, didn't see it, but you saw us reading their Alex comments. Alex Tower. There were a bunch of VIPs in here. Yes. If you'd like to become a VIP, please check out the link on the screen right now. That is our VIP group. You can join up, and it's super exciting and fun. Um, what else? Anybody else want to plug anything? Soaring and scratching. Yeah. Plug How about it that? in. Plug it in. Uh, well, goodness, well, it's very kind of everyone. Lo and behold, yeah, soaring and scratching. Check us out. I can, if I can do a link to that too. I'll <laughs> yeah, we'll throw. put a link. It's it's um so it's many George links. and uh, the Evil Fan Dave's. Yes, yes. Um, I thought podcast. you were going to say the Evil Power Master for a second. <laughs> the evil, the Evil Eagle Power Master fan. There's, there is Evil Chicken and uh, yes. 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 yes, and the and the Eagle and Fan. The eagle yes. fan. Yes. And they do reaction videos and talk about music and movies and all kinds of fun stuff. It's are we Salt of the Earth. So here's a question. Salt of the Earth. Are we actually going to play this again? Are we going to finish this? Are we just going well, to? I think we have never to. Now. I think we have. To. Too. Yeah. Are we committed? I'm I committed. Are we? Now. Well, It'd be funny if we come the next episode. We come back on and it's a completely different game. And we just act <laughs> like it didn't happen. You <laughs> never know. You missed yeah. episode it's two point five. After after all the hard work. After much delay. Yeah. Now we know how <laughs> I really, that's not a bad really Yeah. We need we need, end. End. we need we need the end. We need the closure. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I think we do. All right. I do want to defeat. So we'll do. We do this. We want to keep those together with. That. Yeah, we'll have a picture, doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, the picture. So, the picture um, we do this live on Friday nights for our VIPs. We don't know when we post it on online. Well, I'm gonna try to. If you want to join our VIP group, because there's there's no editing here. Like I'm doing credits, I'm doing a thing in the beginning, and I'm doing a couple little things at the end, but I'm not doing very much editing, so I can get these up very quickly. So I'm trying to do like our last episode came out today, and then we're filming again. So it's like a thing. Yep. Cool. All right. Thank you for watching uh, and, 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 and watching, Alex sleeping. Just said, Alex just said, if we turned to card 174, it said to start playing a new game. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, think, I think that's our next card we I spin. No. It says play Scrabble. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> no. um, guys, thank you for joining us, and we will see you on the next episode where we finish this interesting, fun, super exciting, awesome Hell yeah. No yeah. promises. Right. Hell yeah. Everybody catch fire. <laughs> <laughs>